Hello everyone, this is short, shorter moment. As you may see, we just realized uh, free flow attack K Kalashnikov chassis to the market and we will be start shipping to this next Monday. But as you may know, we announced the version, let's call it Mark 2.1, which differs from the, our free flow chassis in the way that you can install it on any K without any modification to the rifle. So you just take your original rifle, take off the front guard for end, take off the gas tube with top cover, and you install this so-called upper. Uh, fix it as usual way by, uh, there are two ways you can partly free float it by removing the front block completely. So they will be inserted and it will be inserted inside this tower, rear iron tire side tower and it will be partly free floated from this block from back forward. But if you can't modify your rifle or do not want to modify your rifle, you just put on our upper without no problem and after that use for rent compatible with Bushmaster ACR by this location point, attachment points and for end obviously will have cut out for the front sling loop and there will be for end without the cut out. You also can use any Bushmaster ACR for ends except that they should allow you to put on on the barrel due the front post. So the length of the forend is the same that you can use it on a shorter K, like a K105 or longer K, uh, 47, 75, without any problem. If you want longer one, there would be longer version. So as you can see, we, we've got M-lock on the front and uh, 90 certain rail at the rear with the a cop interface cut in. So irons stay in place and obviously you can see them through the ACOG base. So ACOG is mounted when you through the bottom through the magwell. No problem with that. So you can put it on, put it off. But we recommend like put a red dot here and put if you do have side mount, put a three uh, magnifier or night vision back here so you zero your red dot it stays place always so you put on put off the uh, optic device which don't use uh, don't hold the zero and don't need to hold the zero if you want to put something here you just mount the unlock uh, rail sections or unlock uh, attachment for light for surefire or press panel which attached to unlock, no problem with that. Obviously, you can disassemble, reassemble the rifle in any time without touching the optic. So you zero it and you hold it fine. Uh, all you have to do is when you will put on the upper, you'll have to use your Leatherman to buckle the sink inside to allow you to put it on. There would be the short version of the upper, uh, which is compatible with Saberworks KUP platform and uh, Saberworks Cyberworks will be shown it in the April event as a new feature on the rifle. So it's like it will be like so. Or you just can buy it and use it with any your optic mount which you already have. Uh, there would be obviously the plastic version of forend. Uh, and the aluminum one. Price-wise, it will be around 390 uh, euros retail, and the wholesale price is obviously cheaper. So, uh, if you want to be one of the first beta testers, just inquire on our Facebook page and watch us for update. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your interest in in this product and we hope to get this product by end of may to you thank you